Support ProPlay Games on Patreon. All right, we are here with the third round of the Dragon Ball Super National event here in North America. I'm here with Danny. How are you doing? Great. We're super excited for another round. Yeah, for sure. We have a, another match for you guys. It is going to be a reboot Goku Ape versus the Gamma, so it should be really exciting and be going to that. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of Gamma today, yeah, obviously, on really stream. Popular. Yeah, very popular. Obviously did very well in Europe this past month as well. So one of the contenders in my mind for someone to take the event, but then also the, the reboot Goku Ape is on, a, on my mind at least. Absolutely. I think uh, this is one of the top one or two yellow decks. Mm -hmm. If there is a yellow deck that has a chance. Yeah. Against yeah. the field of red and blue. <laughs> yeah, yellow is really toolboxy. It's been a big toolbox deck for a, a long time. There's a lot of ways to play it, and it really comes down to kind of your personal choice of what engine you like the most or which leader you like the most, and I think Goku Reboot is really, really strong. Yeah, it has a lot of choices, I, a lot of barrier, and barrier is just hard to deal with yep. at times. So, and here, so it is Amani Edwards there, and then also Daniel Alvarez on Gamma. Looks like the players are still mulliganing, so I... I Really, the big thing in this matchup is uh, we keep talking about this. Gamma's been on stream mm -hmm. twice now. Yesterday it was on stream. Yes. It's all about turn three stabilizing. Yeah. And Gamma can be super offensive while holding up defense with their really strong floodgate. Yeah, and even just looking at Daniel shuffling his deck, you are you are so tempted to just have like a homogenous list in the sense where you want to make sure you hit your androids yep. your, your red ribbons all the tags that you need but blue has a lot of great cards and obviously there's a lot of like non-blue uh, support cards that you want in your deck too that will help sometimes it also hurt your consistency yeah gamma just like fit naturally into zenkai really mm -hmm. it, it's it was it, it just fit like a glove mm -hmm. uh the unison that they use perfectly generates the energy for them yeah uh the new z battle card like cell the z cell and airy beers great cards it's specifically z cells very solid yeah yeah for wiping the board so it looks like we are starting here and starting but the, the z cell oh. in this matchup is going to be I don't know if it'll be as effect, uh, effective since there's so much barrier yeah, on the Goku side. Yeah, exactly. And I, th I think this could be a matchup where the Goku is able to generate a lot more value because Gamma's not putting a lot of pressure. And, and pretty much every turn, if, if Goku sees what they want to do, they're playing another Kid Ku. They're generating resources from that. They're getting some swings in. And it's very easy to get a lot of advantage from it. Yep. So he's doing the top 10 with leader here. Grabbing Yamcha, Bulma, Kid Goku... Childhood. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I Maybe think, one more. I think it's a one drop Earthling, or, and then also our Unison, uh, well, one yeah. cost Unison, so I like the Palma one. But top 10 is like almost always like yeah. guaranteed search. Be a very unfortunate miss. You yeah. have to be very unlucky. Searching again. Top Next. five. Super efficient nowadays, and that's. It the looks four like drop Goku. Yeah. The, the four drop. Yeah. The dual tech. The glare almost makes it look like... Yeah, yeah, he's looking like a yeah, golden... No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's a dual attacker. It's bad. He's just setting up. But so Gamma went first in this matchup, so mm -hmm. he's going to be able to get to his turn three quicker. That's right where he wants to be. Awaken on tap three. <laughs> yeah. Blue loves going first because they love... They get so much energy manipulation that even having more energy is just fantastic. And uh, especially... Like, I mean, Kid Ku not only, like, it's, it's always good to go first, but it's especially good for Kid Ku because you get to do your draw when you don't, you know, on an active main, not on an auto swing, so. Yep. And big thing against yellow, they have release from evil. So mm -hmm. free with the unison, and that can disable the leader. Yeah. So later in this game, once the unison's on the board, we'll definitely see the game player probably not even swing with leader. Yeah. But still be able to draw. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah and there it literally is. Literally just drew it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah is he do I see SCR in uh, Amani's hand? That'd... I big thing about yellow I've noticed they have to draw their SCR. They're yeah. way really reliant. A lot of this meta is everyone drawing their SCR, but specifically yellow, it's very hard for them to win. Mm -hmm. They need that. They need that zero thirty k to push in damage. Yeah. And one of my favorite things with this deck is that I I was a big fan of this leader for a long time. Was one of my first leaders when I started playing this game, so yeah. really close to my heart. But uh, the explosive Son Goku that you get to play <laughs> again, like man, just seeing those just become you know playable again, playable again and like the the SPRs being very valuable out of nowhere is is very very cool. Yeah, it's so solid. Still, it, it did it does everything really. Yeah. Untaps, kills something. 
a uh, blocker barrier. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, one of one of the first cards with barrier in this game, and it. Yep. And then obviously rest in peace, Shugesh. But man, when that was legal, <laughs> oh, you were never safe. Absolutely not. You could not swing. And here we say, see, he plays the Goku for free, and the Bulma gives all ch uh, Sun Goku childhoods 5K. So this is a it's, it's 10K base, and then mm -hmm. 15K dual attack, and uh, of course it has barrier. Doing that first damage there. And decided to swing twice with it. So you are, you know, it is allowed to, to get attacked. And honestly, okay, this could, okay. Well, if you're going to this guy, never mind. You are, <laughs> you know what you're doing. Yep, and he's doing all this before the leader. Mm-hmm. So that means you can, uh, you can rest the Yamcha. Yep. Which means you get to draw a card and you get to restand. Restand the Yamcha and restand, and then restand the Goku. Yeah, very. Yeah, I mean, this is honestly just a starter deck combo, like on turn two, yep. right? This is quite a bit of damage against Gamma, mm -hmm. and I think this is right where Amani wants to be putting, uh, moving this matchup aggressively. You don't want to go too late. Mm -hmm. Yellow does have late, good late game options and cooler, being able to get, of course, Baby Hatch, but. I think he's just able to put on so much while he only gamma player only has two energy. Yeah, and so that that is the the plus two on the the ball because the other one is paid with one. You get the restand there, and uh, man, I wouldn't. I've I've been playing this game for a bit, and one drop unisons normally don't last very long, right? No. But this Balma has a knack of just staying alive for way too long. Yeah, no business staying alive that long. No. And it's just with the combination of how many blockers it has, the fact that it's a plus two on the unison, and just everything else with the deck, you, you get really dissuaded from attacking into it ever. So I find... Did he swing with the Explosive Spirit? He did not. Okay. I, uh, he might have, actually, because he's down to four life already. Because it would be one, two, three, and four, because he did do a dirty burst for one of the attacks. So right. we see the the ape Goku effect coming into play here. Mm -hmm. When it's removed, uh, when this card is removed from the value by your opponent's seal, play up the one Yellow Sun Goku Childhood when energy costs four. It happens to be the one that he evolved on top of. Yeah. So it just comes back right away. Yeah. So yeah, the triggering would be that this went goes to the drop. This would bomb deck. It would activate the auto, and then you get to play it right back underneath it. Yep. And using the release from evil on the Android 17 and 18 instead, so that won't be able to swing again. And, it was, uh, it was a, a very efficient way to defend it. Mm -hmm. This is going towards Unison? It looked like it went towards I, Unison. I think it went towards Unison. Yeah, and then, two uh, markers on the Unison. Yeah. And it looks like Kamani is just prioritizing the fact that he wants the Unison to be uh, to be alive on top of, uh, I don't know, using the Release from Evil on the Leer Swing. But he could have two Release from Evil. I think I saw two. Yeah, that yeah. could be that But could be I think as a game rough. player... You have to respect it. Yeah, every you do. Turn. Like, it, even if he played three of them. But that's the thing. <laughs> that, like, that might be a little bit. Maybe he played two. And you, like, maybe he has a third. You yeah. can't risk it, though. It's, it's so tempting, though. Like, yeah. if, <laughs> if I saw my opponent did one already, like, on the reasonable value, right? T preventing the dual attack and everything, sure. But, man, I, I would love to do that. All right, and he's he got pretty lucky with those Android hits so far, so he was able to get the 17 and the 18 out, so you would be able to pressure that unison without the leader swing by itself as it yep. is, and decide to put a super combo in the energy, which is fantastic. There's two in there. Yep. But Android 18 counterplay is really strong in this matchup. He could counter mm -hmm. the explosive spirits. That that could help remove. He's definitely probably going to play another one if he draws it yep. uh, to remove some of the board, like the H Android 18 and 17 dual attacker so decided to block this attack obviously wanted to keep the unison alive and it's 15 to 15 and i think just deciding if he wants to combo looks like comboing the Ooh, yamcha combo to yamcha. keep it alive and probably put in z energy and yeah yep. daniel definitely respecting you know what let's not like potentially lose next turn it's I never worth it he has another yamcha yeah yeah he did yeah. swing with leader yeah <laughs> yeah definitely it probably would he, amani would probably uh take out his life <laughs> yeah the, the risk reward is is minimal yeah i would say so but, he comboed the yamcha off and yamcha is essential to energy because you need mm -hmm. the leader needs a something to rest and but yet we see he has another one in hand yeah 
So you, you can rest the bomber too. Uh, so yep. that's that's could be something for you. And yeah, looking like. Uh, okay, he's gonna rest the unison. Okay. It's floodgate right away, like Gamma turn three. <laughs> All right, and that does still rest. Yeah, fourteen, fifteen. Yep, deciding to choose that from deck. Man, just to being able to search your EX evolved uh, target, and you know it's in the deck because it was bomb deck. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So now that the board is all rest moded, there's tons of cards that kill KO in rest mode. Mm -hmm. The big ape that we saw earlier, and of course, explosive spirit, which you can still plus and play for free. Yep, only the Android 17 has barrier, I believe, right? Because yep, the, the one, the yep. yep. <laughs> I like how you just yeah, moved the like, 17, 18. Yeah, you got yeah, it. yeah, you got it. <laughs> You're gonna kill that one. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, probably. The the fact that this has an in archetype floodgate that's as good as the the Android 14 is, I think probably part of the reason that Gamma is still allowed to to be as oppressive as it is. Absolutely, it got it just keeps getting better and better tools. Mm -hmm. You can see here the Yamcha. So he didn't he didn't swing dual attack with the Goku four drop, of mm -hmm. course, because he was floodgated. So he he would, didn't have to swing with like. Play the Yamcha and then swing with leader and uh, restand the ape, of course. Mm -hmm. So here he's probably setting up and just passing, setting up defense. And I'd probably say, probably just oh no, deciding for one oh, to go find. Yeah, it looks like it's surmounting. Surmounting, time. yeah. So the big thing, of course, Krillin super combo for less life that helps them get much more aggressive mm -hmm. and we see the gamma player swinging a lot the unison so his life is sitting at six which is i think it's definitely a decent play the goku deck is very mm -hmm. reliant on its unison yeah two cycle is great but also uh he's down to five life now which means that you can play your your blocker blocker negates yeah yep. yeah which again if you want to try to keep that bomb alive one of the best ways to do that because that can represent two blocks so I just got a peek at Amani's hand, and okay. it looks like he drew the three-drop Sun Gohan unison, very strong unison mm -hmm. to move it to transition your Bulma into a higher unison. Yep. It's Go Z Fighter SS2 Sun Gohan, very strong, can wipe the entire board, ignoring barrier with depending on how many unisons you have in your drop, as long as it's played with four more markers. Mm -hmm. And, and you'll you'll again. always have one if you empower. Yep. All right, deciding to block that. Yep. It's so weird when double strikers have blocker, but yeah. there's such an efficient <laughs> use of it. Yeah. Because he was floodgated. That's very true. Yeah, I mean, you can like have like planet. I know some people play planet to yep. uh, be able to set it back to active at the start of the turn, and it's something you can, you know, suspend with or yeah, uh, rest with your leader too. But he loves calling off this jump shot. I yeah. Guess, I guess the units the. Bulma uses it just becomes a rest target for the yeah. rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think I saw Lord Slug in Amani's hand too. God, Ooh. his deck is teched out. He has a lot of options here. Yeah, when you already have so many cards with barrier, like Slug just is just <laughs> another one that you. Yeah, it fits very well into uh, the Ape Goku deck. Yeah. And we see Unison. Yes, definitely a point we missed. Uh, Gamma, a lot of decks, a lot of Gamma decks have been playing turn three unison, and mm -hmm. you might have missed it in turn three, but the unison is so efficient, generating Z energy, defense, and ev eventually dual attack. Yeah, I would say this is for a for a two cost unison. This is probably one of, if not the best in the game right now, at generating Z energy, just being really obnoxious, and this thing builds a lot of of markers very very quickly. Yep. So uh, it's, it's super obnoxious. Yeah. As soon as you swing, mm -hmm. it gains a marker. Yeah. <laughs> and like you have ways to like it has a, an ability to remove the markers. That's really competitive, viable too, right? Like you can use those markers not just to live, but if you need to press for a little bit more pressure, you can use it for those. Yeah. Dual tech, such a powerful effect. Dual tech, twenty five k. Yep. Android seventeen eighteen teaming up. See him passing here. Again, not swinging with leader. Gotta respect the release from evil. <laughs> yeah. 
And then adding a 1718 and a 1718. And yeah, we saw the blocker negate come in. He's at four life now. Now he can really put the pressure on. Mm -hmm. He's definitely going to super combo on the next hit. Start digging. Just, yeah, more pressure. Wow, he has tons of options here. <laughs> That's what I, I kind of love about yellow. I think it's one of my favorite colors. It's just you're not playing super archetype base of course this Go goku deck has a small archetype uh, engine but yep. he has he has slug he has different unison options a, a ton of different negates like release from evil and of course cooler yeah i why my favorite thing about yellow and because i've been playing this deck i've been playing turtles which i don't i don't know if it's viable with the unison <laughs> hate that's around but um the the thing i always say is the difference between like a good and a good yellow player and a, a great yellow player is that you know of the four cards you have in hand that are counters you can only play two of them and you have to find the right ones for the right moments yeah. all right you see the floodgate come down again and any coolers <laughs> yeah does i don't know if he wants to cool here yet it no. might not be time unfortunately he might he might just wait that's why he swing leader uh with leader first It's pretty funny. Rest yeah. of the leader. <laughs> yeah. The leader that didn't swing. Oh, that he does see that. Yeah, I, I've never seen that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. This efficiency right here. Oh, he's I, no energy. I love these Gokus. Yeah. Man, when I could, when I had to dust <laughs> them off when this was announced, I was so happy. Ooh, it looks like he's going into a slug, but uh, he can't swing with it. Unless he bottom decks or discards two yeah. off the floodgate. And here's the thing, like this deck, uh, Gamma is really known for having like an explosive play with the cell, uh, which is very very strong. But in a deck that runs almost exclusive barrier cards, right? Yeah. Like it, it, it so gets. Four is I will play four to blow up your token. Like <laughs> oh cool, that that's so much value. Oh, it looks like he just played slug and pass. That's perfectly fine setup for the next turn. Now. Slug needs to be uh, in rest mode. In rest mode. Yep. Okay, cool. That's right. Yeah. Effect. And we see the eight eight drop cell or nine drop cell yep. charged here. Uh, it can't ignore barrier, so it would remove a couple cards. But the one of the cards we'd remove is the ape, which mm -hmm. would just bring back a Goku anyway. So yeah, it might not be the most efficient play. It's still thirty k dual deck. Mm -hmm. Man, that cell so good though. It, <laughs> it, even even in this meta right now it's, it's a really cool card and if if green decks were better it's a really sweet little tech you can yeah. sneak into those decks too because it just taps blue for itself green, yeah yeah green mm -hmm. yeah you only need one blue and it can be that itself so it's a it kind of sneaky sneaky play uh, gamma still deciding to swing a lot at the unison and i think that makes sense because amani is having to use a lot of resources to keep this mobile alive right yeah but this this ape is still being a menace every time, yeah. just blocking 25k. Is he gonna combo up? Yeah. To try to kill it. Definitely a factor though. The unison being low markers, mm -hmm. it, the, it might make the Gohan unison that he he'll play later on less efficient. Yeah. Though I mean, just being able to do a plus two does help you there. Yeah. Uh, on that, so you do get it that. Tanky. And uh, I don't think he's played it, but he does have that SS3 in hand as well, if needed. If there's something with without, you know, deflect that you want to come out in rest mode, it, it really helped out there. So, the game player still... Oh, oh, Black Smoke. That's a nice tech, but good thing it, this, this 17 is going to fix his energy, because that'd be real bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Android 18, very good. It could have actually yeah, countered the Lord Slug, I think, but I, I think he didn't. Yeah. He had the bottom deck the last time he got in his mm -hmm, energy mm -hmm. uh, in favor of the super combo. Yeah, and I think that the... And, and that's kind of what I was talking about, like Daniel's list. It's, you have to be really conservative, I think, for the first three turns just to guarantee your setups of androids in your energy. But then after that, you get the benefits. Obviously, we saw the, the Goku ape, you know, let him draw two, which is really strong. Uh, I mean... It's again, we see that in Soul Striker, right? And just the fact that you get to get energy back for free means that drawing cards is, is very strong. Yeah. So here we see some 
good sequencing, swing with battle cards first, leaving the units in back so it can bypass the robotic repose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These blockers just being menaces every mm -hmm. turn. All right, you got one. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> There's three more. Looks like this This is the new Gohan Negate Power Unshackled. Yeah. Unshackled Power. Yeah, I believe it's when you combo with it, you can spend a one. blue yeah, yep. to, to, play to play it. it. Yeah. And he should activate main right away. He should not swing with it because mm -hmm. then it would get released from evil. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's too, too many things that can go wrong. <laughs> so what is the, the activate main for? Acti activate main on the Goku is, or the Gohan, is next turn, he can't, if he wants to, if Mani wants to swing with the battle card, he has to bottom deck a two or less battle card. Mm, he okay. does have targets. Yes. Uh, now, is it? No, he actually, he has just surmounting. And I think that actually doesn't. I was going to say, yeah. Cost, cause it, do, it, go, it never, it, it doesn't get bottom deck, so you yeah. can't fulfill the cost. Yeah. Now, you do have a lot of one drops. So you see those jobs just hanging on Z energy. Yeah. Like, you could have been me, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he plays a Bulma, it's another target. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. You might not. Actually, you can't bottom deck the Yamcha because it has barrier. Does it? <laughs> I'd, I'd have to see the wording. Let's bring it up. Yeah, we'll bring it up. Because if it says choose one. Oh. It'd have to pretty much just be Bulma, yeah. So, power unshackled. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent can't attack with battle cards unless they choose one of your their battle cards and it costs two or less and place at the bottom deck okay, each yeah. time. Yeah, very yeah, interesting. So, so, it's it's another uh, another floodgate in a deck that only has a bunch of floodgates. <laughs> and it does kind of sneak in like because it has to have the superhero and his character name. And yep. Gamma does have that. So, yep. very strong there. And... This is actually so unfortunate. Amani's entire board is three or above, yeah. and then just surmounting in the token. Mm -hmm. And he can't choose the token, of course. Can't be bottom decked. And he can't choose it, two or less. Doesn't have energy cost. Yep. And uh, looks like they're... Is he comboing with the campaign rare? From the drop? Was that the... Yeah, and I... I think his skills are negated? It's... Skills are negated, yeah, but still placing Z energy. Yep. Z energy, but that one doesn't have an effect that when it's placed in your Z energy because it, it does. Okay, but you you be able to. But I think it's skills negated. There might be because it changes gray. area. I know that sometimes that mm -hmm. that's where it gets weird. We see Bulma plus two into explosive spear, and now he plays a Gohan. Yeah, has. Whole six markers, but only a KO barrier. Only one unison though. It's yep. just that single bomber there, but uh, that does also remove the 15Ks from the Goku. So Ooh, um, minus three. Yep. Yeah. So my, the minus three on this Gohan unison gives him triple attack and yeah. plus 5K to your the, himself and yeah. your leader until the end of your opponent's next turn or the start of your next turn. Oh. Very strong. Okay, so. Uh, Obviously, you can't attack with battle cards, but you can attack with unisons yep. and everything. He also he rested the slug off the leader, so now the slug is That's rested, yeah. which is really really nice. Yeah. That's super nice. Now, now the gamma players' super combos won't be able to draw. Mm-hmm. That's the I guess gamma doesn't have that that many draws outside of its leader. Mm -hmm. Which is the plus size for himself, but of course, super combo being the one of the few. Yeah, this 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 Lord Slug's been a bully forever. <laughs> like it's it's such a big bully. Yeah, for quite a long time. It was it was like uh, like higher dragon last year, right? Like yep. it was in that build too. Option and sideboard sometimes. We do, of course, we did see the black smoke mm -hmm. from the Gamma player, but he did have to shuffle back into his deck. Yeah. And that's a very efficient way to remove the Lord Slug. But do, he had to, he did it on his own turn, so there's no time right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and something unfortunate, too, is uh, for at least for Amani, is that uh, this deck doesn't use the draw super combos. It's, it's the bottom deck super combos. So you do still get to use your super combos at full strength in that in that build. But yeah. Uh, it looks like Dirty Bursting for one of the attacks. But yeah, the, the defense on this 
uh, this leader for Amani is going to be great because not only does F have a 5k boost, but if you want to go into the Z leader, then you'll have a 25k base leader yeah. on the defense side. Z awakens is... very mm -hmm, strong mm -hmm. right now. When they have a bunch of just 15ks that they might be trying to attack in with next turn, it's uh, it's a lot of diminishing returns there. Looks like Amani passed turn here. Oh, so I think he swung twice with his Gohan, yep. and le the third attack he left it as a blocker. Yeah, because it does a blocker, yeah. yeah. And it's a 25. There's, uh, let me count, four, five blockers on board. Yeah. Crazy. Now, those those Gokus are just 10Ks now because the, the bombs. Yep. yep, okay. They <laughs> they heard me. <laughs> All right, and just thinking on this turn, I got to say, just the fact, like, Gamma is just that when you get one less leader swing, or one less swing a turn, and it's a leader swing, which is usually the most protected swing in your deck, it's very rough. Definitely adds up over, yeah. over the course of the game. And definitely an option here. He does have several, Amani has several targets now that he could get sell the way, Z, the Z cell, or the one. Oh, looks like he's going for the, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> and seeing if any responses. And what would this hit? This would hit the Mecha Frieza, the Blocker, I guess the Token. Yep, the Token. And, and the One Drop Five Vegeta. Drop. The Big Ape Goku. Oh, the Big Ape, yeah. But it would bring back the other Goku. And then, yeah, another explosive. Man. <laughs> that stack. And remember when we were playing King Piccolo and they had that blocker barrier? You're like, man, this is obnoxious. Yeah, like, here's drum. three. Yeah. Th I mean, this is almost the same, right? Yeah. Drum was free back mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. uh, it had unique, at least. It did. This doesn't have unique. No, no, it didn't have unique. It's got limited oh, to one. Limited to one. <laughs> so yeah. it got, it got <laughs> eroded to have uh, yeah. unique. So Repose, he has to think about what to bottom deck here. And here's here's the big thing about uh, the Goku deck. You actually don't draw that many cards. You you get some cycle. You you get to find your pieces, but you never feel like you have a lot of cards in hand. You have a lot a lot of cards on board, like you see here, and a lot of them are usually pretty safe. But yeah, Sand's definitely looking small. So, this, this should be a pretty easy way for the cell to swing again. Mm -hmm. He can rest, uh, rest mode his leader, actually, because yep. he's not going to swing with his leader. <laughs> no, still. Yeah. <laughs> always, always scared. Threat. Yeah. At that point, too, like, I almost, like, wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if you Looks keep like the release from me the minus not. four come in from the unison for dual attack into the unison. Uh, I think he's, I think he's swinging to slug. Oh. He might, he, he tapped one or the other. We'll yeah, see. one or the other. All right, don't matter. He's blocking it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? What do you know about having a board with a lot of blockers? Oh, I don't. I, I, you know a little a bit. A thing or two. A, a thing or two. All right. I love. <laughs> but your tournament. blockers don't have barriers like this. Hey, is... my does. Oh, some mine of them do. Some, some of them do. Them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Blocking is real fun. I'll yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I, I've been on the other side of for only a few times. Not as many as my opponents. Just looking at a field of blockers and feeling the hopelessness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, how am I going to do anything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, swinging with, uh, assumedly, yeah, attacking with the Android 17 and resting one of the... Android 14s? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely wants to defend this unison. It, it get. We, he would definitely want some minus three again. It mm -hmm. might take a turn, or he could draw a, another unison and tuck it under. Yeah, another unison markers. doing a plus one, and then yeah, it's it's great. I think that's the other weird thing about this deck too, is because you don't want to to have you, you sometimes want them to hit your your leader, right? You want to get down to it, but yeah. Oh, it looks like he did swing into a slug. Come. 
two, four, sure probably. Oh, Jiren. Oh, green Jiren Ooh. coming in. Okay, that's the first one of these I've seen yeah, today. Yeah, I've seen a couple, a one of, and yeah. a couple Z decks. No, uh, yeah, I was talking to Giancarlo, like, yeah, red had the best Z battle cards for a long time. Yes. Yeah, so now we've got this Jiren the Unmovable. Yeah, this thing is a book. Okay, first, it KOs five or less, and then activate main. Place any number of your Z energy cards in your owner's drop. Choose up to one of your opponent's units and remove a marker for each Z energy. Mm -hmm. So it looked like he just removed three markers. Yep. Instant kill the unison. And it gets plus 10k. If you place two or more Z energy, you get plus 10k double strike. Yeah. Very strong. Very strong. And I would say an almost unexpected tech because you almost see this deck. You're like, oh, they're running exclusively blue. This is a new card that I'm not thinking about. But yeah, this Jiren just punch those those markers yeah. away very I, quickly i think everyone always forgets there is there's gr several multicolor greens mm -hmm. in the gamma of the deck yeah and that's why yeah i've seen people try to sneak some you know sneaky things into the, this deck because of that uh but this is this is for free because it doesn't even ruin your consistency it just takes up what you're probably playing like one or two no more than two of this for sure yeah. but wow, it's very they, strong that board was huge mm -hmm. before he cleared it all it was i think it was about like seven battle cards yeah <laughs> But one thing is, you know, he does. This is a point where he's got what six energy, seven energy. Yep. There's a a lot of plays you can do for Absolutely. seven energy. Yeah. It's it's very strong to get a comeback now for he, this. Now he's cooler the next gate, and looks like looks like this attack didn't get negated, so he might have ran out of floodgates. Doing right. the Bulma effect, cycling one, mm -hmm. and I think we just saw a cooler. He might already have a cooler, so. All right, and not a lot of cards. He's got he's got a couple good ones. Uh, he's oh, using here's the SCR the secret. Oh, down. This is one of my favorite secret rares in the game. <laughs> it, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's a huge swing coming in, 50k. All right. I'm assuming this is right at leader. Yeah, and we'll we'll see if it gets dirty burst. Oh, it's it's on a. Uh, okay. We can cooler that if it gets dirty burst. Then. That's true. Yep. Looks okay. Like dirty there's burst dirty burst. Right and, and. Looks like he, he drew right he away. He drew, so he, so he missed the window. Yeah, cool, not missed. He cooler. declined the window. Yep. Maybe he feels like if he did cooler that, he wouldn't be a cooler any negates coming up. So it yep. would be an inefficient turn. In yeah. That way. I mean, you're you're getting a lot of a lot of value off this, these Goku attacks pretty soon, too. Uh, oh, but never mind. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Counterplay the Sun Goku yeah. here. Yeah, because since it's a a four cost, now it's played off a skill. Oh, no, yeah, it's played off a skill, So, but you, I think you have to play it, so you don't... Yep. Oh, coolering Ooh. it. Okay. All right. That's interesting right here. And you get to draw really? two because you are you do have that six energy that is rested. Yep. So this is really interesting that he coolered there. Yeah, for uh, real. He could, but he is at the game player is at two life, tapped out at this point. Mm -hmm. I I actually I changed my that that was a good cooler. <laughs> that was a sweet cooler. Yeah, like that was that. A, yeah. Because he knew it was his last energy. Yeah, I think I think he's realizing that he needs to go off right now. Um. And he's got a lot of swings to do so. This is number two on this Goku. He's got the mecha and the cooler. And when your opponent doesn't have any, you know, energy open like this, you feel kind of safe to do it. The, I wonder. This this plays like a little desperate though. Now looking at it, it oh. did have a couple cards. There, okay, there's super, there's super combo number four. Yeah. So that is or actually I think it's number three. I think there might be. I think there's only been three yeah yeah at this point all right swinging at the unison just to remove a marker from it and uh going from there all right i think four cards yeah three cards now for for daniel here now he doesn't have any z energy right now but 
Oh, he does. He does. He just picked it up to do that. Yeah. So you just get to remove the, the unison for free. Now you have a 25k double strike on this this Jiren. You've used your secret rare. And I think Amani's in a little bit of trouble right here. Yeah, for sure. And you can't Z Awaken either because you do need an energy to do that. Oh, and that cell's still there. <laughs> yeah, that cell's still there. He's he's got no protection, so I'm always used to him just going away. But uh, yeah, he's he's scary. He did use multiple ex three explosive spirits. Yeah. Now it's only it's only a single strike right now. It's still a, is a duel, but all right, able to get out of that one. Yep. Looks like he's gonna try to wait for the cell, the double strike to, for the kill. Mm-hmm. Swing with leader here. Can't release for you. He charged it. It's two cards in end. <laughs> All right, down to two. Got two double strikers right here. Choosing the Jiren too because you can combo with the cell if needed. All yeah. right, and just saying, you know what? I, you've got too much advantage. I can't get around that. So, Daniel takes game one. But I'd say still a pretty tight match. Yeah, that was a tight match. Uh, I definitely could have gone. Either way, I think mm -hmm. this game. And I think, you know, Moni decided, you know what, I have a chance to push for the win here, and uh, which is better than I, I could have probably had last last turn, so he went for it. But, uh, yeah, that, that Dirty Burst being able to prevent the, the Secret Rare from attacking yep. and just the, the other counters that were in play, I think it just was a really good yeah, way I, of stopping. I really feel like he should have went for the cooler on the Dirty Burst. Mm -hmm. If he was going to, if he did feel desperate to need to do something, yeah, he should have did that there, so you can get that swing in. Yeah, and you you still have some some energy open, and you, you get to to rest something, and you get to attack and draw another card, yeah. and, and he, a gets, bit more he gets a oolong and swing. Oh, and copy that's the true. 40K. That's true. So looking at the siding here, we have just over thirty minutes for this game. And you know, with with the the current time rules and everything, Daniel just has to not die, and uh, he gets this round three. Yeah, that's a looks like it took the exact thirty six minute, thirty four minutes mm -hmm. actually that round. So I I think we might go to game three here. Yeah, this I... this is the halfway mark. Yeah. Yep. Now again, Amani will be going first, yep. and we did see already like a burst of aggression with going second. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see if it even gets. And the biggest thing I think with gamma going second is that you really need to get to turn three as soon as possible yeah and one you know a little bit longer for that can impact you yeah i mean as soon as he hit turn three floodgate came down mm -hmm. but this is gonna be the next game is gonna be completely different yeah the money's gonna be able to, go to turn three and put on more aggression yeah i really like that gohan i don't i don't know if it's i, I don't play a lot of gamma so i don't know <laughs> if it's 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 recognized as a standard tech right now or if it is a little bit spicy but that is that is a really rude floodgate for this <laughs> yeah. deck as well we, we saw the gamma last round mm -hmm. that kid also played it i think yesterday we might have saw the gamma play it as okay. well okay so i think a lot of the gamma players are realizing yeah. some of the strong cards coming out of uh fighters and ambition yeah and honestly like i i thought gamma you know was a more how, how do i say it a a tech pick you know when it came out is it it the cool mm -hmm. deck it was the new blue deck right uh, but it's it definitely has a lot of resilience. It's very strong. Yeah, I mean it has that SS three power, right? Mm -hmm. Untapping three, insane. <laughs> yeah, and you know some some cases is better. Mm -hmm. um, I do I do like the the fact that it is kind of guarded behind an archetype R, but it's it's like a it's a soft restriction, not a hard restriction, right? Yep. Which is cool, and it made a big it's making a big impact right mm -hmm. now on gamma lists. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah, I, I like the I like the the from a deck building design which is uh one of the, my key things that i love about this game that it's so open when you build your decks and you, you have your techs is that it doesn't say you can only run androids it says <laughs> you should probably run like nine out of ten cards should be android cards right yeah. but then you have all this open space for whatever you want and i think that's really cool so one of the one of the big cyborg cards i think um uh amani brought in it's tyrannical blow mm. answers to the floodgate it yep. looks like he didn't main deck it and it should help him a ton mm -hmm. it, all mm -hmm. those those two whole turns we watched where he had so many swings that he just sat back as blockers yeah haven't replied the chat much but um 
sin will definitely yeah, come later. You are. <laughs> we're gonna we're saving it, okay? Because we know we don't want yeah. a tournament all of sin. Yeah. You guys we'll, don't want to watch nine rounds of that. I promise. It, it's coming. Yeah. If we if we don't cover sin at least <laughs> once, something crazy happens. This entire this entire weekend, then you can be upset with us, and we'll be <laughs> flabbergasted as well. Like yeah. So I, I took a sneak peek at uh Daniel's shuffling he's mm -hmm. he put in glow a kami global unifier mm -hmm. amazing card again oh for uh, sure all that barrier we saw that mm -hmm. huge board wipe the whole thing and like yeah paying four to do that means nothing because you're doing that for sell anyways it's just like an alternative way for sell so i th think it's three yeah, yeah you, but it's it, one but uh was it is it do you pay God, two or three cold, like you pay card. one for it and then three for yep global unit Oh, he's two. Oh, it's four or less. That's why. Yep, two. That's where the four is. <laughs> Even out, better. Shout you, out to you, our uh, stream producer, Brian Brown. Remain unshamed. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> shall not be named. <laughs> so the same thing. Turn one Yamcha. Probably the best play in the in the deck. Would you yeah. agree? That's what we saw last turn. And again, like going first means that you you get like turn away that like one card disadvantage you get because you immediately get it without with the yeah. active main i mean last game we saw him on turn two put gamma to four life mm -hmm. yeah but then he didn't move much damage after that <laughs> yeah. until the end and yeah taking that uh, gamma leader swinging for the first time in a in a minute <laughs> <laughs> and uh totally fine with taking this life because you're going to gonna go down to six anyways yep And on this decision here. Yeah, coolers is an answer to the floodgate, but the floodgate comes out early, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be tapping three, spending all your entire turn coolering it unless you already have a large established board. But if you spend energy like that, oh, you whiffed hard oh, whiff. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think you jinxed it last the game one. <laughs> you know, I when I play this deck, I I missed far too often than I seem, so I, I have to <laughs> I have to make other people feel my pain too. <laughs> that that's really feels bad, unfortunately. That I guess that's a bad downside of playing so many tech cards, right? Mm -hmm. Your deck list gets so tight and you need those engine cards. Yeah, Balma's what you really need though. I think that's that's the one you especially Absolutely. need for this deck and i've had games where i don't see it till like turn three i'm like what am i doing like how <laughs> my deck does not function anymore please so last actually game one i think we saw him play the four drop goku first mm -hmm. swing with it evolve and then swing with leader yeah wonder so, if he didn't draw the big one yeah i think that that is or what the he, little one. Oh, he did but he didn't we'll either not finding value from doing the the evolve right now, which yep. is fair, or uh, just deciding to not. And so both of these are 15k Gokus yep. if you want. I'll definitely just go go crazy with them, right? Explosive well, Spirit untaps as well. And I mean, it, well, it comes down to do you want to give your opponent oh, advantage, okay. right? Because uh, want, it looks like he wants to yeah wait and build up a bigger. What, a single turn hit. Yeah, because I mean, Gamma is a little bit limited on what cards you need to be charging one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And so giving them more chances to draw an Android you can charge or putting them oh. on is limited, but whew. So this is interesting. He he turned four unison last game, mm -hmm. but this time turned two unison. Yeah. And we see Amani put in black smoke into his. He might have sideboard, he might have main deck, but he, draw, he has it in his hand right now. So we're going to expect this unison to die right away. Yeah, and he, he awakened to get the one energy open now you don't get to do the the leader effect because you have to have three androids yep. in there so but... he just swung anyways mm -hmm. he does if he did get released and evil would be uh can't draw one but that's a one for one trade all right yeah i think did he swing i think he's after i, oh, I he did it pretty quick i'm not sure <laughs> If he... that's this is the minus one. Yeah, yeah. You did lose a, a card draw if you sequence that incorrectly, but oh, I believe in Daniel. <laughs> 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 he 
You wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, we gonna see this unison. So Giancarlo was mentioning that Gamma actually wants to play unison on three because yep. of the fear of black smoke. Mm -hmm. And I think that's fair. I think that's a fair assumption for that. And honestly, unison on two doesn't really do anything. Especially when you have all of these dual attack 15Ks that can potentially be bully it, you know? Interesting. He swung swung with leader, or unison right away. Yeah, because I... He's not choosing the black smoke. Hmm. I think it's it's just to Maybe prioritize... Maybe he feels like he can kill it? Oh, yeah, he's I going leader. So. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's probably going to no black smoke anymore. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, black smoke dragon... A Accumulated negativity. Uh, can't attack, it's played. You get to either place with three cards from the top of your deck into your drop, and then if there's seven more, you get to draw two. Are uh, able to kill or you know, KO battle card, uh, seven cost or less, ignoring barrier. Are uh, getting rid of a two cost with seven or fewer markers. Yep. So. I like all the flavor of all the sevens in there. I think that's very yep. fun. But he, he is doing the, the big Goku A play mm -hmm. here. I mean, oh, he's passing. No, no, yeah, uh, this is leader. Oh, way. yeah, yeah, he sorry. Yeah, no yeah, combo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hands, hand gestures can. Look yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. We we do not hear them. <laughs> they can only hopefully hear themselves. So, yeah. we do have headphones on, headsets on both players. Okay, now he's choosing not to. <laughs> and you see that secret rare? He's gonna have to yeah. shuffle back. Too bad it doesn't just grab an Earthling because uh, <laughs> technically that secret is an Earthling. Yep. Oh, another whiff. That's two whiffs for Imani. Oh no. Yeah, and maybe maybe it's next turn. Maybe he's gonna try to. I don't know. There's not like a. It it just only really gets value against I guess a Unison. Yeah, but he did negate the value of the unison by swing of the unison first. His yeah. his Bulma. Also, I mean, like this deck just drawing two for two. Monty might want to do that too because he was out of gas by the end of the last game. Yep. <laughs> See, like three release from evils. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it. Yeah, just swing once with your leader. <laughs> okay, if he. I'd have to reread Release from Evil. Can Release from Evil prevent you from awakening? Yes, because it negates the skills. Of your yes. Leader. So if he didn't, if he didn't do the awaken first, it was strictly because he prioritized untapping the energy compared to. Well, the... you, you would just not awaken, and then you just wake in turn three. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I, that's that's the only thing I could think of, like why he wouldn't want mm -hmm. to. Uh, do that. You still get the that draw because if you swing unawaken, you still get the draw. You still get the draw, but releasing you doesn't stop pending autos. But you, it would prevent you from doing an untap yep. on on the, your turn, or at least the awaken on your turn. If I was Amani, I'd probably charge a release from evil. <laughs> he has so many in his hand now. Mm -hmm. Like, please <laughs> give me a reason. <laughs> So that swing got blocked by the big the Andrew eighteen but got blocked by the ape. I'm wondering this is like at leader? Interesting. Yep. Oh he's so probably he, loving that. Both players kinda of changing their game plans here. Last game Gamma was singing all at the unison, now he's moving towards the leader. Oh yep. and it's here's the black just... smoke removing the unison. That's why he didn't swing at it. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's it's so hard to play these these decks when it's they're just yeah they get removed so easily yeah unison decks that rely on unison and gamma still not swinging because he get an energy up mm -hmm. releasing eagles not free but he could tap one all right i mean obviously so here here's like the weird part too like you Right here, you'd want to charge a release from evil because you have someone in your hand, right? Yeah. But then at the same time, that just hard signals to your opponent, yeah, I've got at least one more in that hand, right? Yeah, but he doesn't have unison anymore, mm -hmm. so he has to tap an energy. Yeah. So, mm, he, I would, I don't, wouldn't see him ta leaving three up to release from evil three times. Yeah. Right, black smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you get floodgated and you've got a bunch of energy hanging out, this, and I think this is actually. 
really smart for Amani because I think he realized, you know, next turn is the Floodgate turn. Yeah. I don't care about this unison this Black next smoke turn time. anyways. Yeah, let's Black Smoke when I have literally nothing else to do. <laughs> the Black Smoke game it is crazy. <laughs> I didn't Going into this, I thought it'd be like a, a side deck, but I didn't think it'd be as successful in the main deck as we've been seeing today. Yeah, I, I think so many decks like Gamma, for instance, both these decks play unisons that can't hit by it. Go, SS4, yeah. Gogeta. Sin pl actually plays a Gogeta unison as well. Mm -hmm. And, and in the end, draw two cards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a deck like Daniel's, where you're so focused on the exact colors that are in your deck, uh, you, you still find the reason that, oh, uh, even though it's off color, I want to play it. It's too good. Yep, so the cell is actually going to hit three cards. Uh, it's going to get three. Yes. Yep. But he get gets his go. Oh, he gets explosive spirits back. Yeah. I think he values a blocker a lot. Mhm. Mm this be an okay time release from evil. It would stop him from restanding and lose crit. He would just he could take the damage. Yep. Mhm. Mm Ooh. Ooh, okay. The secret rare for yellow now. Yeah. <laughs> Power Super the, the one of many. <laughs> All right. And yeah, swinging with the, the android there and going down to three, which does mean that Amani can Z awaken now. He does need one more Z energy, but uh, that is a possibility for him. And then deciding to play the Android 17. Oh yeah, he did combo with that. Yeah. Yep. Man, I uh, the only thing I'd say about this Black Smoke Dragon is that I would either I would probably make it like a zero combo cost. I don't think it has any business being <laughs> you know, a 5k that's, that's on top of it. fair, team. but the fact that it'll <laughs> become Z energy, yeah, is so efficient. Fair. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the fact like. It's almost like funny how uh, it nerfs something by giving it more power for the combo by giving that one energy. Um, but yeah, just being comboing it for zero, people would still play it obviously almost just as much. It's just that extra advantage you get from it. Yeah, I mean the primary main uh, the premier overrun mm -hmm. right now is Dark Broly, which is a zero zero. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fair. Yeah, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know, it's still the best overrun. Only I can right see now. the air quotes, but they are there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's it's more fair than uh, the mass Saiyan we had, right? So yeah. like, it's, <laughs> Absolutely. it's getting there. Secret identity was yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. It was too good. It... <laughs> yeah, but definitely like Z, since Z energy does not traditionally care about what color or even what cards are in there, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's just a quick charge. Yeah, even zero zeros can become energy. Yes. Yeah. Or Z energy. You see him charging the Lord Slug here. He might have not drawn the other Slug, the one drop, to be mm -hmm. able to go into it. And th this is looking looking rough for Armani. I feel like he didn't draw his exact pieces, and he whiffed multiple times. Yeah. And that definitely slowed down his aggression in this game. Yeah, but he, he wanted to do. He does have potential to go into the Z leader now. Yep. Uh, which He's could be something. Light. And it looks like it's just going to be 15. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay, 20. And going Beers into Beerus. Draw yeah. card. Super efficient. Now, there we go. It's going to... I this... forgot the Goku's name, but yes. he has the flat. I know his entire <laughs> effect actually. The flat, the flat barrier, and when he's played, he could target a battle card that's in res. Any card actually, or leader battle card, I think. Yes. In rest uh, mode. Yeah, not energy. Yeah. Yep. And it doesn't. It can't attack next turn. So he might have targeted the cell, because no point in targeting the leader. And then when this card is in rest mode, when your opponent plays a battle card or unison, you discard a Z energy and the battle card comes in rest mode. Yeah. He's very cool. And the yes. only thing is that yellow has a hard time 
finding the energy to play him because three is quite chunky, especially when like your premier th three energy play is the the Z fighter Gohan, right? But yeah. uh, the fact that it's just chilling in your your Z deck, it's always just an option to play, uh, is is very very cool. And I think I think that's when we get more of these these battle cards when. I would say your Z deck is more of a decision than I can only have six cards in there anyways, so they're all there. Uh, I think we'll see a lot of creative decisions for from that point. Yeah, that is some sweet art. Yeah, that is, right there. that is that's a really beautiful. nice art. <laughs> yeah, this this card just got out, and it only has three arts. It has uh, the original art, it has the, the winner yep. uh, art, and then also uh, this one as well. Give a shout-out to Bandai real quick. Yeah. Most beautiful card game, maybe. I, Close. I I gotta say it 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 makes it very difficult to play any other card games because these <laughs> this art is beautiful. Yeah, and, absolutely uh, beautiful. I I have a good time looking at these cards. Yeah, it, you, we see the Explosive Spirit S Sun Gohan SBR from mm -hmm. set three. Yeah, still three looks great. Yeah, still looks great. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So we, we see he's, he's uh Daniel swung with the Android 18s. Got robotic reposting gate. Playing the unison from the energy. I don't, you don't see that too often, but yeah. it does come up, which it's is nice. Efficient play. Oh, and finding the hatch. So that is <laughs> offline. Yeah. Like this is sitting in the energy now. Yeah, and this is why I always get tempted to play like one or two copies of Zeno, right? Just to potentially fix it. Yeah. Uh, but it seems to not happen today. Oh, and I did he. Did he rest it with the... So he doesn't have Z energy. Oh, that's right. That's it. true. That's yep. true. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so you I have to place one of your Z energy to the drop to get okay. the effect. Yep. Yeah, it just looked like there was some discussion, so I wasn't yep. sure what the uh, the point was. This Goku, very strong Z battle card, but mm -hmm. yeah, that that is a cost that can make it harder to play. Quite a hefty. Three Z energy pretty much total. Three energy costs. So he could definitely do a couple more swings even through this repose here. Just rest with leader. But we see the twins coming in 17, 18. <laughs> oh, oh, all of your. That means he could still shuffle away. Oh, wait, no, he can't. No, not with that one, no. Unfortunate. Oh. This is some bad flips. Yeah, and, that's and, the, the, and this is what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Like, you're so tempted. You want to play the commies. You want to play yeah. the, the new... You want to play the Goku Draw Apes, right? And you get so punished sometimes for it. Oh, this is going to be a little harder. He's You'd have to rest mode two cards now to be able to swing. No, you can... Uh, I mean, what? You're probably not swinging with leader anyways. Yep. And you're probably... You can't swing with the cell anyways, too. So those are two easy targets for you, but... And you can't switch the... 17. Yeah, it because it has barrier. barrier. Yeah. What a weird edge case for cards like that. <laughs> Choose is a very specific word. So this this is super unfortunate energy here. Mm -hmm. He can still cast like the nine drop cell, but the Kami and the baby hatch being in there, that means if he plays a 17 or 18, he can only choose to shuffle back one of them, not both. Mm -hmm. So he's stuck with both of these. Yeah. <laughs> and Baby Hatch is obviously higher priority. I do love that this Goku has the Fleck Barrier at 25k. It's just mm -hmm. going to sit there. And yeah, look, it's, it's coming back. Uh, yeah, and like as long as once you start building more Z energy, you get to uh, use this. You know, it's a, a hard once per turn, uh, yeah. but it's, it's very nice. So. Interesting, he goes to a robotic repose here first. Yep. And gets to combo with the 14 15. And looks looks like they're. Okay, so he's deciding to swing into leader, so using Bean on defense, because uh, that's all you can do with it anymore. Sometimes I found like I was having too much, yeah, you know, a hard time running four beans, and so the the errata has definitely made me say, okay, two or three is probably it. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. I do like that that the 
Goku leader here has to activate battle that can counter kind of counteract the unison mm -hmm. 5k. Yeah. Because that, that unison gets too much value sometimes when you're just you have to waste swings almost, right? Yeah. But since he being coming back strong as ever on defense, <laughs> 20k base leader. Yeah. So we do see the unison in Amani's hand again, mm -hmm. but this time the Bulma's gone, so he won't be able to get in power. Yeah, you could just... I mean, what? What's What do you, would you even want to get rid of on this board if you... The cell? The yeah. Z-cell? It's still lingering. It can still dual attack. With it. Man, I bet Amani wish he had the, the Kami right now. Kami would be very, very strong. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd clear the whole board. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah entire besides board. the unison, yeah. He would lose his own, but there's a lot of cards on the other, on Daniel's side. Yeah, this looks like it went to leader. Yeah, I, I would ignore the unison at this point. Yeah. Your priority is now the life. And right now, too, time. you could even just pretend you have black smoke in hand again, if, <laughs> if you do or don't, right? Oh, is he going to play another one? He sure is. Wow. If you have the the fancy ones, why not? <laughs> I spent all this I, I you know, spent all this time trying to collect these. I got to show them off. We're on stream, baby. That's sweet though. He doesn't have the Z energy unfortunately to get both of the autos off. Yeah. And everything is now rested, so there's nothing to swing with without committing more energy. Yeah. He looks like he probably targeted the cell again, so it's going to be sitting there again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he might, he, yeah, he could definitely target the cell. He could target the 1718, but it just has less power. And I think, yeah, I, I would imagine Amani's just not prioritizing these unison plays either. Oh, never mind. Yeah. He is nothing but prioritizing. It looks like he played it for four. I think that's right. No, no three. three. Okay. okay. Plus one right away. He is tapped out, but he is this quite unison, tapped out. He does. Oh, we see. He might have just drawn a tyrannical blow. A little late. He definitely. It looks like he brought it in, but he didn't get to see it in time to counter the floodgate. But he, he does several release of evil still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blocker negates. He is, and of course, the units can block. Yeah, if I was Daniel here, I'd be. I'm happy he doesn't have any any energy. He can't repose. Probably doesn't have any left. So we're gonna be swinging many times if, as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. But it looks like he's going for the unison here. Totally fine play. Yeah, and like again, like if you build enough Z energy with this, for this Jiren, yeah, you, you have the potential Jiren. to just do it again. Yeah, that Jiren is so, such a powerful card. It being is able to just knock multiple markers off. And sometimes some games you just build up a ton of Z energy. Yeah, and you just didn't does it need to play that many Z battle cards. Yep, and it or looks like... This deck just naturally produces a ton, and that that's what he's doing. It's exactly the play. And now it's a 30k double striker? 25k? Uh, 25k, yeah. Yeah, 25k double striker. Uh, oh, he, he must have... Maybe it's Unison. Yeah. Maybe he said either Unison or uh, something else can't attack. Yeah, now now release from evil can't be used either. That it's just yeah, been stuck in hand all uh, yeah, it's actually whole game. Really getting punished for not charging them earlier. Mm hmm Are are not even just leaving energy open I like at this point with so much hate that we've seen, it's uh just leave the energy open. Yeah. I I I don't know how I feel about the second Goku yeah. Z battle card. It really didn't do much for him. It, I mean, it did force Daniel to have to spend two energy to do the play, right? But yeah. you have to spend three energy yeah. to make them give it. And it in upfront value, it's very little, just twenty five k, and it could stop something from swinging. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah, 25k double strike for two is still pretty good, so. Yeah. But we still see the, the Gohan Piccolo SCR in Amani's hand. If you're all inning, it's hard to out, out combo yeah. yellow. <laughs> and he's got one, two, three, four. Okay, he does have enough. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he, I think he recognized that that was a very real card. Yeah, look at this. Taps down the dual attacker. Goodness. But we still have multiple attackers. Three standing cell. He might have targeted the unison with the, the gold. I, I'm blaster. starting to think that yeah, that was the case. He did target the cell. And uh, he tapped, instead of tapping down the unison, he tapped down the Android 1718. So it's like single strike crit. Crit. 35? Oh, no, 30. Still super combo. Amani might be able to live here because thanks to the Gohan Secret Rare, mm -hmm. such a powerful card. Yeah, and since he now has the energy again, too, if he is able... battle card. Yeah, yeah. You, could, uh, you could rest it and you know, negate his abilities. Oh, and there is the... Another cell. Oh, but... Does he use... Deciding he not to... Wait, the go the secret yeah, stays. Yeah. Yep, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> if SCR got killed by that, oh jeez. Yeah, there, there it is. Now, it's it's skills are negated. You can't you can't activate it. Right. Uh, it doesn't negate the skills. It just switches the wait. Yeah, it does. Uh, it negates the, its own skill. Oh, negate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's it right. Okay. Its own skill. That's right. Yep. So it can still restand. Oh, Ooh, a super, super combo. combo. All right. Down Dang. to one. Yeah, but he still has a second Goku because it's a, each auto is optional mm -hmm. to pay the cost. So he still has, he could wrestle the next thing. Yeah, but you still have so, either leader or unison swing, depending on which. I, I think it's probably unison targeted. Yeah, yeah. Can't we swing. don't know which one's stunned, but it's okay, yeah, probably unison. Going in. Yep. Deciding to try to end the game right here. And that's that's the Kami energy, so you can't play any. Yep. So this is up to thirty, 30? and doesn't oh, have it. Oh, so no. close. That game is so close. That's such a close game. Wow. Goodness, that oh, that was so close. That must yeah. have been heartbreaking for our mind. One right? one attack. That was if he could get out of that attack, he was done. Like it was so close. Yeah. He definitely could have won next turn. Oh yeah, yeah with all with all the advantage and Daniel essentially. Probably being tapped out or out of options. Yep. For sure. Well, cool. I think that's that was a really fun match, and it just kind of shows just how close these can be, and just the power of, of Goku as well, but also just the power of Unison Destruction right now. Yeah. And the power of Gamma. Yeah, the Gamma. Such a strong deck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.